guys today I'm going to review the new power station let's say power bank from YZX Studio this is Terminator 11 uh, actually it exists in several versions with different capacity uh, but today we going to review the version with capacity 99 watts okay let's uh, go further and so we'll just uh, have a real quick review of this guy so as you can see it uh, just a brick I think nice. okay so just uh, for understanding it has actually four ports uh, this totally can output 45 watts of power and uh, uh, contain USB Type-C and uh, USB A port and here we have DC port and uh, USB Type-C uh, this part of ports can be work only as output ports and this both variants so we can use it for output on input this guy can take up to 150 watts of power um, and uh, provide actually the same. Let's turn it on. Just click once at any button you have. And you have such screen that is quite informative, as you can see. On the main screen we have actually the battery info and general section additional information about capacity, percentage and uh, consuming and average time of usage. At the left side of the screen we have uh, some info called DCP. If for example we connect some external device to this port, this uh, uh, DCP will uh, show us the load and all information about this report. We have here two buttons and by clicking on these buttons you will go through the menu. Uh, just click next, battery info, next charger input, next C C1PD output. Uh, this is the section which I showed you earlier. Next DC output, it only this guy. Uh, you will be able to configure actually the voltage and amps of this uh, single port and we have super hook and that's all. If we press and hold we enter this particular menu and we can uh, set up the power which we want to use. For example, we have now 3 volts and 3 amps. Uh, actually it uh, provides 9 watts of power totally. For example, we can go to the 3 volts, press and hold, and increase or decrease this value. And again, press and hold to fix or confirm this value. In such a way, we can program these output ports, DC output ports, I mean, uh, with uh, voltage and amps which we want to use. Uh, to go back, we just need to click and hold this button on the left side. Okay, uh, so some screens actually have options. Uh, to check if uh, they have options we just need to go to the particular screen as I showed you earlier and just click and hold this button. We actually drop into the general configuration section and uh, here we have C1 PDD configs. Uh, to drop in inside it we need to click and hold of course and we see all uh, let's say different voltage and different amps you can change it if you want but I won't change so just give me back then we have C2 plus USB config C2 uh, it's actually this section this is C1 this is uh, C2 so C2 has uh, sorry just going back press and hold and uh, this section, these two ports actually, supports all of these 
uh, protocols and uh, amps and voltage so we can change on or off and save uh, but currently we are not going to change anything we're just going back press and hold the left button C1 out to power C2 out to power so we can define uh, at what power it will be automatically shut down after of delay brightness of the screen little brightness little timer in voltage drops uh, some uh, additional configuration like charge mode fast of voltage full current and selecting language battery test and default transit if as charge rotation of the display and the plane mode. I'm not sure why this line of menu is added here because uh, this power bank doesn't have any Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or something like this. So, for my understanding, it's always in an airplane mode. <laughs> okay, uh, one interesting thing. Uh, this is reset. It actually resets the capacity of battery and you able to, for example, if you replace the internal battery, which we have here inside this power bank, we can uh, set the new values. And uh, to do that, we need to select this menu. And then inside this menu, we just calibrate all necessary things. Okay, let's go back. So let's test it uh, with uh, some uh, loads. For example, I connect uh, one of my old laptop and simultaneously will connect uh, some ad additional load like uh, Mavic uh, Mini uh, charger. We have only one battery here, but it's enough to demonstrate how it works. So let me just connect it real quick. Here it is uh, our laptop. We connect this to a more powerful section and we'll connect uh, this charger aha uh -huh, we haven't we don't have enough cable so let me just switch the cable so now we turn it on the laptop and see what is happen total discharging now near 70 watts of power and as you can as you can see ah sorry my mistake a bit to connect the second cable and now we see this this section or drain 28 near 28 29 near 30 watts of power and this one now near 30 50 so totally we have actually minus 78 72 let me real quick something open on laptop maybe the discharging will increase now we have near 90 watts of power let's something around okay now we have uh, minus 90 100 more than 100 watts of power totally so actually uh, this uh, all ports totally can provide up to 150 watts of power you can connect of course your laptop and use it as a backup UPS uh, or to have uh, as a reserved battery for your laptop or charge uh, any devices you want one more interesting thing 
that this power bank has embedded MPPT controller which uh, give you a possibility to connect external uh, solar panel without any additional controllers. For example, I have uh, one very well made and efficient solar panel from Powerfilm. It's a 30 watt amorphous solar, solar panel and uh, if I connect directly to this power bank uh, it provides me actually the 30 31 watts of power on a good sun and uh, maybe it takes more than three hours to be fully charged with this uh, solar panel not long ago I checked uh, the information on uh, official the manufacturer YZ, YZX Studio and discovered that uh, they already have newest version of this power bank they uh, move the display to this section and uh, maybe it will be better for some cases because for example if you uh, put in to the pouch uh, and uh, you doesn't have enough good access to the display as we can see but uh, if we have the display right over here we will always just uh, open and see what's going on actually maybe this uh, position of the display will be more convenient for users I don't know but I have this version and I'm fully happy because it has quite enough power to power my laptop charge my drone uh, at least four batteries it can charge so we have for example some batteries with extended capacity and uh, it's not a problem to charge them all via this charging box maybe that's all guys thank you for watching this if you have any question please write it down the video and comment and I try to answer you as soon as possible. Bye bye!